morning, <clears throat> everybody, here from Finland. Uh, this is Michael Robbins, and I'm uh, substituting for Tuya Robbins, who usually does these broadcasts, but she's out of town. So for a few days yet, um, maybe for almost a couple of weeks, I'll be um, offering you these Ask programs. We know the idea behind it, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, a knock and it shall be opened to you. Uh, we have been offering uh, meditations on triangles, uh, the reappearance of the Christ, uh, the dissipation of glamour, um, the invocation of the souls of nations, and the invocation of money for hierarchical purposes. This morning here, although I realize it's pretty late at night for some of you who may be joining us in New York or South America like one o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> anyway, um, today we're working with triangles and I'll just uh, give a little reading here uh, from Master DK. You know, he really didn't say so much about the triangles work, just a few really pithy things, important things about this work. Of course, he, he gave many, many triangles um, of a planetary nature in, in terms of the centers on our planet, uh, of a uh, zodiacal nature and triangles, even, you know, going up to the uh, great bear, uh, uh, the little bear, and uh, Oh, goodness, what's the Pleiades, <laughs> the Pleiades. Yeah, so he gave cosmic triangles, uh, zodiacal triangles. Uh, he offered um, planetary triangles and triangles on our Earth. The principle is that sacredness, in terms of etheric flow, is uh, determined by the triangular shape. Now. The triangular flow of that energy. It's interesting that on Mars and on our planet, and maybe I think on the other non sacred planets, um, the etheric pattern in the etheric body of the planet is a pattern of squares. Now, Master DK um, told about a, an ancient happening to him in which a venerable sage, I, ha I keep on thinking it must be Pythagoras, uh, taught him how to esoterically bisect the square and make two triangles out of it. Um, so when we want to have a, a sacred flow that represents the soul and the higher triangular principles, the etheric body has to become a pattern of uh, triangles. Eventually, um, the perfection is reached uh, at least in our solar system, for the uh, in the etheric body of the sun, which is a, a pattern we are told of interlocking circles. Well, we're not there yet. We have to, on our planet, uh, provide the transition from the pattern of squares to the pattern of triangles. Uh, Master DK says this, I'm just going to read a little bit here because it's really uh, good to know how important this work is. The triangles of light and goodwill are essentially invocative. I, it's, please excuse me that I cannot read the finish. I'm sparing you for that. <laughs> they, they constitute the ABC of the coming science of invocation. And so they will be related to the Anta Karana. And uh, a matter of fact, in a treatise on cosmic fire, there is this diagram showing a triangular Anta Karana. Uh, their strength, that is the strength of these triangles, is dependent upon the, now listen carefully, the depth of feeling in the one case and the strength of will 
in the other. The goodwill, the triangles of goodwill, and also eventually the triangles of will, will be dependent upon the strength of will and the depth of feeling for the, well, it's also related to goodwill, and the triangles of light. So the strength of these triangles, and we must create a strong network, is dependent upon the depth of feeling in one case and the strength of the will in the other, with which they are created. I have here given those disciples who are launching this new project, and remember this was back in the 30s and 40s, I have here given these disciples, those disciples who are launching this new project, which is so close to my heart, a new and useful hint. So, you know, uh, these triangles reach all the way up to Shambhala, eventually. And uh, as has been said, there is a great triangle, the triangle of the Buddhas of activity. The three, as well, they're exoteric Kumaras, but they, in a way, surround Sanat Kumara. And we are meant to purify the etheric body of Earth through the triangles. And when there is an emergency, planetary emergency, an emergency within humanity, then the Buddhas of activity can use these triangles to help uh, uh, the planet and humanity pass through this emergency. So it's very important that we build this network, you know, find uh, two other souls, <laughs> find two other people, and uh, every day, um, it, it won't take long, you visualize them, you visualize light and love, goodwill and flowing through the triangle that, that of the two people, visualize them more as soul-infused personalities, and then when you have finished with your several triangles, or if it's just one, when you have finished with visualizing your triangles, hold the visualization, uh, hold these several triangles uh, in your mind's eye, and say with depth of feeling, the great invocation. After all, this is the basis of the science of invocation. Uh, one day soon we'll have a uh, program in which we will look at the basic triangular, um, a, double, a double triangular uh, kind of uh, vision or uh, diagram that shows one triangle on top of another sharing the baseline, and this is the basis of how the triangles work invocatively. Okay, this... Uh, Meditation is fairly simple, and we will uh, get into it. Here's a picture, you know, an idealized picture of a network of triangles um, surrounding the earth. <clears throat> network of triangles. So we're all gathered together as souls, as souls in incarnation, and we're attuned with the higher self. as if the soul of the group with which we are working and we're all in the same space of consciousness. So inaudibly we sound the Om three times inwardly. If you want to hear the pitch that uh, you hear in the background, you know, it's a C. Um, you can uh, use that one as you internally, as it were, uh, imagine that sound three times. And 
this uh, golden network of triangles, visualize it in your own way, it covers the entire planet. It's probably not all as regular as the several diagrams demonstrated, but nevertheless, the, to those with the etheric vision, triangles of all kinds can be seen oftentimes going from continent to continent. Just visualize that golden network of triangles. Carrying light between the points, carrying goodwill which is love in action. And eventually, later, carrying the energy of pure will. Now take a few moments to visualize the triangle or several triangles in which you may be playing a part. And as you do so in your mind's eye or interiorly, call upon your triangle group members by name and with love. feel that loving energy, loving lighted energy circulating through your triangle or triangles. And somehow, as you do this, you are invoking the soul expression of all those participating with you. We are linked, ideally, as soul-infused personalities. between us and of course this will strengthen the network. This is part of the subjective salvation of humanity and of our planet. Very powerful work potentially. So if you can Enlarge your triangles network and preserve quality at the same time and remain faithful to the daily exercise of this work. You will be doing something important.
As the Master Moria said, half the world thinks and the other half carries out the thought. So when we're thinking in terms of light, of love, goodwill, and power, sacrificial will, it's going to affect the thought and therefore the action of many people in a positive way. Try to feel this energy circulating. First, let's focus on light. Light between your triangle's members. Try to feel the presence of this light. Try to feel the goodwill and the love, specifically activate your heart center, depth of feeling remember, almost as if the point within the triangle can be seen as the Lord Maitreya himself. The point within the triangle is always very important and there are many such. Eventually for our planet it's Sanat Kumara and the three Buddhas of activity. triangles in which you are playing an intimate part, visualize, visualize them as linked, link your triangles to the great network. They are playing a small part in this great network of inner workers and up all the way to Shambhala in your mind, to the three Buddhas of activity. Try to imagine the power which this network can have if continuously built, properly built with true inner feeling, with a true sense of light and goodwill and love. Imagine the power of it.
eventually we can see that Sanat Kumara himself, we don't know when, but will be able to use this great network. And it will certainly be a network which facilitates the approach of the Christ and facilitates the expression of the energy of the avatar of synthesis, the spirit of peace and the Buddha surrounding the Christ, supporting him, these energies being released into humanity, synthesis, peace and love and illumination. Through the Christ, who is, as we are told, in the reappearance of the Christ, the to be considered as the point within the triangle. And of course you can throughout the day in different times when the thought comes to you you can energize a triangle or several and keep the energy flowing in the network by doing your part for your little network of triangles So now, with the sense of your own network, the one in which you are participating, even if it's just one triangle, and with the sense of how the triangle of triangles in which you are participating links to the greater global network, we will Think together the great invocation as it is sung.
of the earth, etherically, perhaps as many as 100,000 can be generated. That's the old story that uh, Alice Bailey said the Tibetan told her, if 100,000 triangles could be created, we could achieve the change that we need in humanity and on our planet. We are moving towards becoming a sacred planet as we visualize these triangles. It may be a while before that actually happens. Could be the judgment day, as they say in the fifth round, but we're on our way. And we can achieve a measure of sacredness that will help humanity make its proper transition. So you sustain the idea of light, of love, and of sacrificial power working out through goodwill, through these triangles. schedule uh, coming up. Um, today is the 6th of July and then tomorrow the 7th the reappearance of the Christ. This is the uh, AM schedule. We alternate every week uh, to make it possible <clears throat> for people uh, for whom various times are not convenient to have their opportunities. So uh, we stay with the universal time. We're not uh, we're listing these programs in Universal Time or Greenwich Mean Time. So at 5 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, we will continue, and that's the way it will be throughout the entire week. Now we listen to a song that invites the idea of initiation for humanity. It's called The Presence. 